Hi, it's Megan. And it's Bree. And we just want to talk about TV. Welcome to our podcast, Unseries. Each episode, we're going to cover a TV show, new or old, and have a silly little conversation about it. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get unserious. Welcome to the season finale of Unseries. Will we get renewed? Will we get canceled? I guess we're going to find out in the next hour. I hope we get canceled. <laughs> we were like, well, guys, the okay. studio called. This, the studio called us in the middle. And uh, I guess we'll find out what and, happens. It's like uh, deal or no deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So to celebrate, what we're deciding is two seasons of Unseries. 60 gosh dang episodes. You're welcome. You're welcome. A um, hundred subscribers. Yeah. A year and a couple months of the pod. We've decided that the only thing to do is to finally get into the world of tier listing. And what better place to start than by tier listing the shows that we love and we have discussed over the last year or so. Um, we have 50 shows. Actually, 50 shows and movies there are a handful of movie series in here that will be in contention but don't worry it's all a flawless system no flaws in our analytics (laughs) we're here to have a serious chat with some serious folk about these programs yeah and we're 100 percent right yeah we're right you're wrong (laughs) shut Shut up up. (laughs) in the words of king eugene Eugene. li yang (laughs) Um, so we're going to be getting into all that, and then don't even get it twisted. If we should be renewed, maybe. I really hope we get renewed. I think if we get renewed, then we unlock a rebrand. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like a video game. <laughs> yeah. We unlock Choose your new and new photos. Yeah. So watch this space, you guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok because we Please. also decided we have to go live and eat Taco Bell and talk shit. If we are No, going, sorry. Shoot the shit. If we aren't going live in the third season, <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. So we're going to need about... 700 more followers on TikTok, <laughs> which already is over double what we have on YouTube. Like, our current follower base is already double what we have on YouTube. So, I think you guys can really band together. Yeah. And just go follow us on TikTok. It's as simple as that. And we'd be up in the chat, chatting, shooting the shit. Not I don't know. Up in the chat. Up in the chat. I'd be up in, in the, the chat. Just working on my <laughs> fitness. He's my witness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I digress. And we'll we'll have to see what happens at the end of the episode and how successful this tier list is. Um, It'll be on the TV behind us. I'll post, maybe I'll put like a screenshot of the final tier list at the end. Um, And if you're an audio listener, just buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle head. Buckle up. Buckle head. (laughs) Um, Okay, so before we chat all of the shows and movies we've watched thus far, I have to check in with Brie. It's been a while since I've spoken to Brie. So I just wanted to see how Brie was doing and how many times I can say Brie in under 30 seconds. So Brie, tell me how Brie's doing and what Brie has been consuming. Brie's pretty good. (laughs) Oh, good. Brie's good. She has been consuming. (laughs) I'm the third person the whole time. (laughs) Okay. Now, I um, read a book called Cover Story on my new kindle oh. i abandoned all my paperback <laughs> books never paper yeah, again that's awkward no but like i need to finish those books but i just totally left that mm-hmm. whole situation whatever that was whatever that mess was no just kidding <laughs> um it's emily henry <laughs> uh, cut to us in a few weeks doing a smackdown if yeah. we're renewed yeah oh, who knows we'll get renewed fingers crossed at this rate <laughs> um but i read cover story and i think the author's name's Rachel Lacey? Question mark? I think that's right. Um, but it was Sar Good. I love going Sar Good. Sar Good. Um, it's a um, lesbian rom com about a famous actress and her bodyguard. She so she's being she was kidnapped. <gasps> <laughs> by like a stalker years ago like years ago and he's like getting out of jail mm-hmm. so she's like has more anxiety about it so she yeah. wants to hire like more security but she wants it to be done in a way 
that's like um not like covert, obvious yeah. and like so she hires a bodyguard that's also her gonna be her fake girlfriend yes fake dating yes Yay! bodyguard <laughs> fake bodyguard <laughs> and oh yeah um which is just like what more could you ask for yeah um and then also like what i like was she was like already out like that was not a whole plot. like because i've just read a lot of rom-coms where it's like mo- mostly about coming out and whatnot and like or that's the secret mm-hmm. so she's just fully out to public and then she has her secret bodyguard girlfriend and then i don't know what happens from there <laughs> yes <laughs> tease tease but it was really good and if you like those kinds of books i really like the rom-coms i feel like that's like one of the better um like savic um authors i've read um and i'm gonna read more of her books so slay and i started good girl i can never say it. good girl's guide to murder mm-hmm. which i heard there's a little show about i don't know maybe we'll cover it know, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, who knows <laughs> i don't know who knows we'll find out. wait we, we need to cancel we really we really don't know oh fuck oh, I, sure. I forgot they had to call us yeah so i don't know that's so that's good so far but yeah i'll talk about more about that later maybe well, maybe not because this may be the last show ever <laughs> We're on the verge of our seat. <laughs> We're on the verge. The ratings. It all, it all is up to this tier list. Yeah. How good it is. Yeah. We'll see, but, I guess. We'll see. But I need to ask. I've heard my friend has something to speak about. And I'm um, ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I read something, too. But I didn't have as good of a time as Brie <laughs> with her fake bodyguard girlfriend. <laughs> Um, I read, I'm literally looking at it, A Long Time Coming <laughs> by Megan it. Quinn. Live, laugh, love, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, laugh, love. But there was an H in her name and I should have been sus that. was that the point. first red flag. <laughs> I said, ooh, a cute little purple book with fireworks and it's a Taylor Swift, like, <laughs> lyric. And her name book. is Megan. <laughs> but no. And at first, I guess I should say, everyone has the right to their own opinion and everyone has Do different they? opinions and different tastes. <laughs> And stuff, but girl, this was not my taste. In fact, I thought it was rather foul. (laughs) I was like, I'm not gonna be that mean. That's a. (laughs) Guys, I was just shook. Maybe it's because my expectation was too high because I saw a lot of people on the book talk liking it a lot. I was like, oh my god! And it's a it's a series where each book is about a different brother. There are three brothers: the Kane brothers. And people said, this is the best book in the series. I was like, I don't need the other books. I can jump right in. And I liked the premise of this one, which is that fucking Breaker. His name is Breaker. His best friend from, like, since college, Leah Fairweather Fern, (laughs) is engaged and going to be married. And they're best friends. Like, there's literally not a bone in their body that thinks they have feelings for each other. And yet he's like, well, I would do this if I was dating her. I would do this. I'm like, bro. Okay, if you're... What? Get a grip. Get a um, grip. Grow up. Stand up, <laughs> um, So they've been friends, best friends for a decade. She's getting engaged, and then he's um, being canceled online. Because lo and behold, I find out they're billionaire brothers, and a girl at their company who was like Classic stalking him basically brothers. pretends that he like abused power and had a toxic workplace. So they're like, "Well, we're investigating. You have to go on sabbatical." So he's like, "Well, I have plenty of time to help her plan the wedding and be her like man of honor." Thank God. You know what's something I didn't <laughs> tell you? Um her nickname for him is Pickle. Oh. <laughs> so he's like the oh, Pickle just of honor. When I thought it couldn't get any worse. Exactly. <laughs> just what you fuck ass <laughs> thought. Oh my god. Pickle. Anyway, I <laughs> live love and peace and love and respect. No, no literally no Tito shame. <laughs> very deep, very but like i just couldn't unfortunately get my, my heart in into it because um i think you should pick up the other two <laughs> God, i would rather die because <laughs> the other two men and their wives are in the book and i just uh, couldn't i couldn't deal with them yeah. and i don't think it's fair to say because i probably would have liked i can't say it was all bad because i did like the trope of i love a best friends to lovers and like that kind of thing and he has this realization when she's trying on her wedding dress sorry spoilers <laughs> he's trying on his wedding dress and that's his oh my god mom- moment that he's like in love with her and i was like that was really cute and it's very like quirky silly like it definitely is very heavy on the comedy silly in 
in with the rom-com. So like, I don't hate that. Some of it just felt kind of like cheesy though, or like a little like juvenile for my taste. Like it's an adult book. Like it gets very steamy, which I'm not saying it makes it a con, but when I think the ratio is too much on steam and less on romance and fucking plot development, that's where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I need a reason worry, to guys. care. I heard a passage of it. Yeah. And the fuck. And the fuck. Because, again, like, I, that's not something where I'm like, if people really, really like that, and that might be the reason people really, really like that book, like, go off. Get it, girl. <laughs> but, like... Get it, girl. Get I don't want to, like, it. give everything away, but when they transition from, like, her leaving the other guy to them getting together, it becomes so rushed in that moment, and then it just is all about, like, the steamy scenes, and I'm like, no, 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 I wanted more tension, I wanted more angst, I wanted more build-up, I wanted it to be, like, more romantic, and it just didn't give me that. Like, it almost, honestly, that was, I think, the turning point for me when I was really, like, I don't love this book. Because even though there were cringy things and things that were not written in a way that I certainly would write it as a distinguished author myself. <laughs> um, exactly. When it hit that point, I was like, well, this just isn't like, I'm not even like enjoying the story anymore. Like, Damn. so it was just a bummer. And yeah, if you want to read it, you should. Honestly, someone should read it so I can talk to them about it. But then if you like it, it's going to get I really mean, awkward. People do like it. Yeah. So I, that's I mean, why I'm I like everyone where, has different yeah, tastes yeah, yeah. but to me I just there were things about it that just felt awkward like some of the dialogue felt very awkward and clunky again in my personal taste is I'd rather if there's going to be steamy scenes it should be like I don't want it to be the whole point and I at least want it balanced out with like and you need some, good development you need some build up yeah you need I don't know. You need to yeah. care about it. Or yeah. Just, like, and, like, I guess there's build-up because there's years and years and years. And in the book, it did build up. Like, it was a pretty slow burn. It was 400 fucking pages. <laughs> they don't get together until at least 200. All right. But then when it just, like, rips the bandit off and they're, like, going at it, I'm like, well, no! <laughs> like, it just isn't, like, satisfying like, oh, as a reader. Like, I'm like, yeah. okay. Damn. Yeah. It just felt, just felt it weird. Felt, it fell short. Yeah. It really, it felt really, really short. So it was really long. I sped through that. Like, I literally, like, my brain was numb. So I was like, I just need to get her done. I'm proud of you for finishing it, though. Thank you. There was a moment where I was like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. But anymore. I will say there is a book I didn't finish, so it wasn't quite as bad. Like, that one I just felt like was boring. Like, I just yeah. didn't care. Like, in this, I, it's like when you watch, like, a Hallmark movie. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, I don't like... And we've watched, like, some Hallmark movies where we're like, this is fun like, and it's I don't cheesy. Love this, but I guess you would... Happened. Yeah, and then there's been like we watched one where there was like an elevator and a random <laughs> elevator kiss and okay, that was good. <laughs> well, I was gonna that say that was, was gonna... not good because <laughs> it just didn't make I any sense. All of those. Like there, I feel like Hallmark. It's like I always say there's like Hallmark <laughs> to like the holiday or yeah. something or like Ten Things I Hate About You. Like that's like the scope of rom coms, and I enjoy the ten whole spectrum. But obviously, there are the Ten Things I Hate About You's of the world and the whatever well, kiss in the elevator movie and there is. Kiss Christmas, 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 Christmas. And there's room for all of them, you know? And you can enjoy them in different ways. But some on the very, very end of the spectrum are the ones that are so beyond cheesy. Where you're like, I'm not even enjoying it. Like, I've watched plenty of Hallmark movies where I'm like, this is fucking hilarious. Or this is cute, even though it's cheesy. Yeah. But man, this book was not on the my favorite end of the spectrum. Would you put this book in the, um... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I would put that in that part of our tier list, Brie. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> let's tier list our shows, baby. I'm scared. So I guess that was a good transition. Starting from the bottom, we're kind of not ranking these as if necessarily one, two, three, four, five. Like those categories might kind of echo that. But as you know, a good percentage of the shows we really enjoy. We usually recommend. We usually always like recommend. We're yeah. Like, yes. Um, at least giving it a try. Um. <laughs> So instead of being like, this is the worst show, this is the best show, we're starting with a bottom category of, um, yeah, for shows that, like, maybe weren't our favorite, but, like, sure. <laughs> and then right above that is uh, trauma for shows that we may have loved, but definitely traumatized us just slightly. Look, see, my trackpad doesn't work. Tragic. Um, and then right in the middle is very unserious. 
Unserious. Unserious doesn't feel like a word. Unserious is fake. And then the top two are the best show ever and under that also the best show ever (laughs) because to us, all shows are created equal. (laughs) (laughs) No, but literally. (laughs) We love all types of fucking shows. So today we're going to go through 50 of these shows or movies that we have um, watched and reviewed and discussed last year. Wow. Should we go? Should we just do? Because I think this is an alphabetical order because I titled them all when I saved the pictures. So should we just go in that order? Yeah. Okay. And if it's not an alphabetical order, that means I mistyped something and no one say anything. And no one. So right off of the bat, we have Abbott Elementary, which I would say is one of the best shows ever. Which is the best show ever. But I will say just because it's a newer show, I guess it has had three seasons. It's just I forget that some of them are short in, like, half seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like we've said this before, or I've said this, that sometimes when I'm, like, trying to think of what my true favorite shows of all time are, and it's really hard because it's, like, picking children, um, it's hard because some shows haven't ended yet. I'm like, what if this show betrays me? Yeah. And I don't think Abbott's going to betray me, but in this moment in time, can I holistically say that it's capital, the best show ever? No. But I could say it's also the best show I would, ever. I would put it in also the best show ever. Yeah. It's kind of a perfect comedy. But, but what I, will happen? But what will happen next? It's all upon Janine Gregory. Know. For sure. <laughs> I saw, so they said at Comic-Con, Comic-Con happened this past week or two weeks ago, depending on, I don't know, the timing when this is uploaded, um, that they're going to do a crossover with a show on Abbott. I know, I saw that. And everyone's guesses are, like, they're all bits. Like, people are like, they're going to inject themselves with Gen V or, um... Compound V. Yes. And I saw one where it's like, these two bitches about to link or queen out, and it was Ava and Susan Buster! I saw that. That's so funny. I wish. I literally wish. People, I feel like the most compelling idea I've seen is like, obviously, there's the ones that are on ABC, so I guess like Grey's Anatomy or 911. Grey's Anatomy would be so funny. So funny. But people really think, I think the most like sensical one in this moment in time is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and I feel like that would slay. Oh, I guess I'm we'll gonna see. do it. We'll see. we'll see. We'll find out. Does that mean I have to watch? It's all always of- sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, that's a show I do want to watch at some point, but it has a very specific humor yeah. that I feel like it's going to take me some time. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. How many seasons is it? Like twenty. Yeah. That's it's like what I thought. maybe not quite, but it's yeah, in the but double it's like digits. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they're short. Mm-hmm. And I like Rob McElhenney. I like um, Mythic Quest. Maybe we'll do that on here one day um maybe not because this may be the last episode you're right good call <laughs> um next apples never yeah apples never fall, fall. um hmm. <laughs> now i'm like looking at our categories i'm like where does this fit in um yeah <laughs> <laughs> like when i look at it compared when to I everything see, else do i feel passionately about it do I um, think about it a no. lot? No. I think about, you know what I think about? Jake Lacey. Okay, well. <laughs> He's doing a show. With, he best. just got casted in a show with fucking Sarah Snook. So everyone's about okay, to lose their fine. minds when it happens. And I'm he's in sad. the same brand of shows. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see what's oh, going on up there. Our, my head's like. Um, okay. We're well, just going to move on. Oh, no, I put Baby Reindeer up there, too. Oh, no. Get back here. Get back here. Honestly, Baby Reindeer feels easy to me. Mm-hmm. A trauma. trauma. <laughs> like, is would we have trauma if we didn't care? No. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Trauma. Trauma. But that doesn't mean it's a bad show. It no, 100%. Like, really, it's just, really good show. It's going to sit with me forever yeah, in like good I'm and bad gonna ways. Like, I'm going to be traumatized. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, Barry. I think, I think also. Also, also the, best the best show, show ever. ever. Barry's, I know, I have to, we have to be picky. Yeah, we have to be really selective about what's going to be at the top. Even okay. though I just said this isn't one, two, three, four, five. Even though, but, but the top is it's the, the top best show is ever. It's the best show ever. We don't actually say that lightly. <laughs> we never say that. We've never actually said when that. When have we said that? Um, <laughs> cut to. <laughs> um, 
Um, I was going to say something about Barry just feeling very passionate. I was getting nostalgic. I miss yeah. When we were like, I tried putting ad blocker on, by the way. So you see ads. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> but, what was that? What was um, that? Who's that? Um, and I started, I said this to Brie when we were like, we'll do every show we've done. I went, oh, we get to talk about succession again. Because I feel like, because we did that in our first episode and we've gotten so much more comfortable. It's like half that of, oh, I wish yeah. we could like do it over. And when we talked about the Emmys, I felt like I could talk about it again. I know. But it is also. I guess we'll figure out where it lands. I guess we'll, we'll find I guess out. I guess we'll find out. That's in the S's, so I guess we have to wait. Um, but Barry's one of those shows, too, where I just... I Honestly, I've been seeing people have mixed things about how, like, it got really weird and, like, strayed from the show. But I think it was, like, a perfect show. No, I thought... It, yeah, me too. Like, the tone definitely changes, but, like, it's a show about like an assassin that isn't yeah. redeemable like as you go you find out he's not redeemable yeah and that's how the cookie crumbles like i feel like that was the only way it could have went yeah like justice for noho hank but yeah no long live noho hank long no-ho live noho hank and long live the friendship that him and sally could have had yeah like that's my biggest loss <laughs> to be frank like they had they were that was something they even realized too is that they never had like scenes together and they gave him a scene but it was so traumatic yeah actually i'm moving very down to trauma Oh. <laughs> I know trauma for no ho Hank. For no ho Hank. Um, I okay. just pretend that he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. We named our TV yeah, after our him. Yeah, TV's no. Don't get it twisted, Roku Hank. <laughs> Roku Hank. <laughs> Welcome back, Roku. Hank. Welcome back. Yeah, no. <laughs> you would have loved Roku Hank. <laughs> okay, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, my thing is I'm really questioning these categories now because I think it goes in the middle, but is it the most serious, serious yeah. show? But yeah. that's where it belongs. But it does belong in the middle. Because like, do I love that show with my heart and soul? But am I also like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> they just be like, being very very romantic and then fucking pimples playing <laughs> that's that's television i feel like very unserious could go with the slash of that's television to me to me yeah and it is i agree uh let's go it's benedict a, we were right good time. didn't we confirm or didn't i was like i'm gonna say it right now i think it's benedict yeah we, we did we it knew. we knew it we've been new. roll the tape roll the tape <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna edit it in that sounds like a lot of work <laughs> no don't roll the tape don't roll the tape um, okay, all the Cinderella stories. <laughs> um, okay, if you average them out, let's think about all three of them together and if you put them up and you mixed them up. Very unserious. <laughs> um, the Lucy Hill because franchise really. I'm keeping it real. Oh, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> and that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, like, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not um yeah yeah uh okay dash and about lily that oh, i love dash and lily <sighs> oh i feel like we need like an extra category <laughs> i don't think you can do that i was like can i add another category this just moves them <gasps> oh. Oh. <gasps> i'm shuffling <laughs> wait fuck how did trauma get all the way over there wait Let's oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm really ma- messing this up. Everyone, stay with me. Okay. Okay, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't even worry, guys. Everyone, <laughs> for stay those with listening, me. I just shuffled up the thing really bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I can add another. Oh, I can make them colors. Add a row <gasps> Wait, below. Wait, add a row below. Okay. But what do we call it? We already struggled with this. Maybe it doesn't want to let us. Wait, do you see it? It added a million yeah, yeah, of them, yeah. actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we don't know how to use it too, Liz. Don't even worry. Okay, okay. I feel like we gotta make we it gotta a... Change. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> and uh, let's, yeah, let's make it a different color. Let's make it up. Let's make it like up this color. Yeah. Oh, if I had really known that you could do this, I would have made this look like our colors. It'd be over. It almost is. Yeah. Honestly, okay. let's just make this one like blur okay it kind of is or just not in the right order yeah okay so we have very unserious but also um 
something about just like yeah a good time yeah yeah a good time um shooting the shit (laughs) exactly (laughs) good times yeah something like that honestly i feel like i'd move both of those up there yeah because okay like i want to put in the best show ever but like good times yeah does it make me smile things like i genuinely enjoy it Mm mm-hmm and the vibes all around watching the thing are really good. Yeah. 100%. And that's what I would say about Dash and Lily. Yeah. Yeah. Because, and especially, like, it's a little one Christmas show, and it's just, like, it's such a good time watching it. It is, like, as much as I do think it could have had another season, it is, it, I, objectively, is a good, like, limited series. And yeah. And whole, there's, like, wholesome Christmas vibes, yeah. a wholesome romance, the chemistry so was there. Cute. Even though they're not even in scenes, that's how you know. That's how you literally know. It's mm-hmm. a good time. Okay, Dairy Girls. Oh, my God. I know. I've been thinking about them. I feel like the, also, also the, the best, best show, show ever. <laughs> oh, bring I love them back. Um, oh, God. Oh, Heavy no. hitters, flea bag. <laughs> Oh my god. I have to god. sit with this one. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm like thinking deeply. I'm not trying to think I'm not trying to think about shows until they come up. Okay. Like I'm not trying to overthink yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am trying to think like we don't want to be too greedy about what's at the top. But like I really think Fleabag's a contender for the top. I would put Fleabag at the top. Yeah. Yeah, guys, Fleabag's the best show ever. I mean that's <laughs> over and it's really, really good and I think about it all the time. You know, it always, like, I don't know. It's the best show it's ever. It's the best show ever. All right. Oh, Ble- I fear. I re- really, you speak on this one. This is all you. This is the best <laughs> show ever. This <laughs> is my best show ever. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did we just drop her up there? Yeah. Okay. Like, okay, realistically, speak is on it. it the best show ever? But personally, hashtag to me. <laughs> it's like we need a Brie category. When I think about it. Yeah. Like, one, it comes up in my life maybe every day. I think yeah. about Glee every single day. Yeah. And Glee it's raised like your Roman me. Empire. It shaped me. Yeah. I love it so much. Yeah. If I put it in any other category, it would be like. Wrong. Wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, the best I, show ever. <laughs> I support you on this. Are the last few seasons the best? No. Oh, yeah. We're only talking about... We've yeah. only covered one through three. We're only talking about one through so three. So, the best show ever. The best show ever. Um. Yeah, that would be me if Parks and Rec came up on here because I do genuinely think about that show every day, yeah. too. When you put it that way. Because, like, when people ask you your favorite show, like, I mention Glee. Like... It's Glee. Oh, what's your favorite show? Yeah. Or your favorite shows? Glee. Yeah. I love Glee. And I support that. Glee for life. Bitch. Um. Okay. Oh, no. Ginny and Georgia. <laughs> In my heart of hearts, <laughs> it belongs in Best Show Ever. <laughs> Wait, that was the first Best Show Ever title. <laughs> that was our first podcast ever, actually. I know. And Technically. You, you tell. That was our, like, unaired pilot. I feel like that one in Succession, yeah. I wish I could, like, redo. Yeah. Just and they're two I of my favorite acting. shows of all time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think if we're being real with ourselves, it goes in very unserious. Yeah. Serious? Especially the first season. Especially the first season. Season two, honestly, when they come back for three and four, potentially make its way up. I think I feel like we need to put like a star where it's like, watch this space, like guys, keep an eye on this space because Ginny and Georgia, flight risk. (laughs) It could go either way. Yeah, I think, I think it's on the up and up. Honestly, I I think it's teetering between very unserious and this is just a plain good time. Yeah, like a non guilty guilty pleasure. But for now, I guess we leave it at very unserious. I right know we'll leave it there, but you know what? Watch, Watch the space. space. <laughs> if we get renewed. <laughs> okay. Um, Hacks. Oh Hacks is a contender God. for the one of the top two, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's like, it is my like favorite show right now. Yeah. Honestly, what like, if we do this? That's it's my favorite. What if we start doing this? What if I pull her to the very front of the best, also the best show yeah. ever? Because, like, that's another show that's not over yet. So, like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We don't have the full story. We don't story. know. For sure. For sure. Heartstopper. 
That show's good time. The best time I've and ever had. Show ever We're coming up time. on a year of us like watching it and me watching it for the very first time, and I'm feeling nostalgic and I'm feeling like instead of Lollapalooza, we're gonna watch Hard Supper again. That's just uh, good vibes. That is good vibes. <laughs> um, High School Musical. Ah, oh, so good. Um, like and subscribe. Get us to 1,000 subscribers. I think we can lower the tier for that one. That will finish the oh, High School Musical. High School Musical. Musical, 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 Musical. Because we're so close. Yeah. And then we don't even dislike we'll the show. Lower, we're lower. We just kind of fell off. Yeah. We just fell off and got really far away. From yeah. It. But. Yeah. And then it came out you know and it what? was too late. I am. And all of it started happening really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, but High School Musical, the film franchise. I feel like good times. Good times. I can't imagine much better times. Yeah. Um, Daisy Jones and the Six. And the CX. CX. <laughs> Sick. CX. Sick and twisted. Um, I'm kind of trauma. Honestly? <laughs> kind of when I think about it, trauma. <laughs> but positive. But positive. <laughs> trauma negative, trauma positive. But trauma negative is also trauma negative, trauma positive. Exactly. Um, but, but. I'm thinking good times. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah. I feel like it was the time went by too fast. I read the book in like a day, which was a mistake. Oh, I love it. But I waited I too long, unfortunately. I live and I laugh and I love. Yeah. Gen V. Uh. Uh. I feel like that's um, between good times and trauma. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little bit of trauma. And that's like the boys do, but um, yeah. those are my comfort shows at the same yeah. time. I had a good time. Okay. But I see where the trauma comes. Yeah. I put them in good times. Good times. Wow, it looks like a middle finger right now. Right when we did Gen V, that kind of slays. That kind of slays. It's fitting. Loki. Oh, my baby Loki. Yeah, trauma. Trauma. (laughs) No, literally, I am traumatized by that because every time I think about Loki, I I think about it, I remember where he is. (laughs) And I get like emotional. That's crazy. That's my Loki. Um, Maxton Hall. Oh, best show ever. I think I fear it goes right to the top over Fleabag. I I fear it goes over Glee for me. (laughs) Oh, I'm really struck because I think it's like Jenny and Georgia, but even more so in like, okay, yeah, it's so in seriousness, but did we have the time of our life actually? I feel like (laughs) we had such good times. Honestly, does it also go also, this is the best show ever? (laughs) Sometimes I'm like, I love this show so much, and then I remember the random flashes of her in the yeah. pool. And then I remember, <laughs> and then I remember the song playing twenty. Yeah, no, that was art. That was art. Um, I go very un- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though, but honestly, yeah, uh, but like them and Ginny and Georgia are pretty top tier on serious shows. Where I, re- I really like ride yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I feel like that's a good time. Yeah. I had a good time. I had a good time. A little time. bit of trauma there at the end. A little trauma and a little sad that I guess we don't get in. It's honestly interesting, though, with the Emmys. So both of them got nominated. And if it's a show where it's going to be a different couple every season, it should technically go into anthology. Yeah. And they're both. It's not. It's in drama. <gasps> so I'm like, okay. Okay. Get it together. Okay, fine. Do it again. Fine. I guess technically White Lotus doesn't fall in an anthology anymore because Jennifer Coolidge and like the two other characters overlap. So maybe there'll be someone, maybe, um, um, what's her name? Parker Posey will be in it. And that oh, would yeah, slay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll take, if they can't, if I can't have them, then I'll have Parker I'll Posey, even it. though she's responsible for not having them. Anyway, love her. And you love Honestly, this next one I feel like is interesting. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I really struggle. Like, it's definitely either, in my opinion, also the best show ever or Good Times. Like, and I, I only say it goes down to Good Times because of the last couple seasons. Yeah, but I would say that just because of the first two seasons. <laughs> yeah, that it's the best. That it's and the best. Also, also the, best the best show, show ever. Okay, just because like I don't know, it was so. And it's what those are like some of my favorite seasons. I'm sad that it did fall, but yeah, but I did still really care about like. And I didn't mind everyone. the ending. I feel like either. it was controversial, I but liked it. like yeah, um, 
Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I miss that show. I'm trauma bonded to it now, though, because of what <laughs> what happened. What, we won't even talk. The podcast. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, "What happened?" No, like, I thought like I was like, "There's something I don't know." <laughs> no, that's the one thing I think about now when I think about. So that's good. Yeah. But you know what? If you know, you know. I love them so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My Lady Jane. Uh, horse Husband Summer, baby. It's still kicking. Me watching the equestrian stuff in the Olympics. I'm like, let's go, Horse Husband horse Summer. Horse Husband. I say good times. Yeah, good times. That's a good show. Oh, another best show ever has approached. Oh, no. My Life with the Walter Boys, baby. Very, Very unserious. <laughs> Although, like, them all get together, the trio back together filming has me kind of excited. <laughs> like, am I kind of like, oh, this is embarrassing, but am I excited? This is embarrassing. Yeah. His hair is bleach blonde again, and I'm like, woo! Can't God lie, bless. can't lie. Very unserious. Yeah. God bless. Okay, never have I ever. Um, the vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> Tippy top, baby. <laughs> I will say it was really interesting when the show came out, the amount of people that were like, just like, I couldn't see a Paxton girl in sight. Now, whenever I see people bring up Never Have I Ever um, in my sphere, it's um, always about how she should have ended up with Paxton. I was like, where were you guys when I needed yeah. you? I know they existed, but my timeline, my um, algorithm was not, the algorithm was was not the feeding side. me with my allies. Was my algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. So for that reason, I'm moving it to. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. I feel like it's like not that I've been organizing this, but like higher on good times. But I haven't really organized this, so I feel like it just <gasps> oh <laughs> so like put God. it into trauma. trauma. It's trauma for me. Good times. Good times. Really good times for me. Yeah. No, I had a blast. Mindy Kaling is one of the funniest no, writers of all time. <laughs> And maybe, maybe, fine. She didn't really, really want it really the best to. show ever for me. I miss that show. Yeah, I this do miss that show. This is making me think about it did shows like, that I haven't seen in forever. I know. <laughs> that are over forever. Yeah. Um, okay. One. Oh, I three. fear. I fear that we don't even need to discuss. Like, don't even, don't even talk about it. Like, are we kidding? The very, very top. <laughs> Of um, best show ever. <laughs> Can't lie. Sorry, Fleabag. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but honestly, babies. I joke that we should just have a top category that is simply what One Tree, Tree Hill. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I feel like there's very, very few shows. Because like you have Glee as like your number one, your comfort show, your favorite show, the best my show baby. to you. I feel like that's like me with my, my like Parks and Rec. And then there are like the Fleabags and the Hacks and all those of the world. But, like, One Tree Hill 4, I really do think, is, in a way, its own category because it is very good. It is very unserious. Yeah. I feel so attached. It was at a formative time in our lives. It's why we're friends. And I actually really liked, like, it all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> like, did it have its moments where you're like, what the fuck? But I was still in it. But I was like, I didn't it. care. I, I literally sad. didn't care that I was like, what the fuck? I was, I was still, like, yeah, Nathan's kidnapped. I was still there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Clay and I'm like, do goes. something else. I'm not surprised. I know. Let's keep it going. <laughs> what else you got? Do I have any more challengers? <laughs> I'm literally not surprised. It's just that show. Yeah. Like, there's always discourse on, like, what's the best teen show? One Tree Hill, The O.C., other it's shows get girl. their name in. And I fear, I fear no one's trying to ch- ch- um, beat One Tree Hill. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm literally I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. What can I say? I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> right when the heart goes. Yeah, I don't want to be. I think the um, <laughs> um oh! one day trauma trauma. <laughs> like I almost had a moment of like it could go in good times, and I guess for like most of it, it could go in good times. But the trauma is so severe. Like I'm pulling her up to the front. So good. <laughs> so good though. So good. Like, genuinely. I think they got snuck. Yeah, 100%. Like, the fuck? Like, not even I was anything? Shook. Yeah. Nothing? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think we should be in trouble. I'm putting the Emmys into, um, yeah. <laughs> the Emmys. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Only Murders in the Building. That's coming back soon. Maybe we'll talk about it. Yeah. If we get renewed. Good times. I feel like good times. Yeah. Good vibes. I know. Some it people- always... Like, 
when it's around Halloween. Yeah. It's like the vibes. They've been getting better at pushing it back to fall. Yeah. Like one summer, it came out at the beginning of summer. Yeah. And now it's like end of summer, into fall. Perfect transition. That's what you need. Mm-hmm. They just officially, Jesse, what's his name? Jesse, Jesse Lee Sofer? <gasps> Jesse, Jesse. No, nope. that's the guy from Chicago PD. Jesse Williams. Jesse Williams. It's not going to be in it. So it's truly Selena Gomez gets a love interest every season. It's just season. her getting a new love but interest. But you know what that sounds like to me? What's his name? It's his time. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Good. His name? <laughs> <laughs> that you know. We what? know. You know. If, if you, you know, know, you know. know. And I know. Like and it's his time. About. It's his time. Yes. But Jesse, Jesse, but Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> but they got Meryl again. Yes. Can you believe that Hannah Einbinder has to face him against Meryl Streep to get I'd her be Emmy? I'm crying. I think, but Hannah, I think Hannah should win. Hannah truly should win because, like, Meryl has won for her better work. Yeah. And, like, she slayed in Only Murders, slayed, and I love Only but Murders. Like, but now, if Hannah Einbarter wins, she gets to say that I beat Meryl. I beat Meryl. That'd be <laughs> iconic. And I hope she actually says it. I know. Jennifer Lawrence said that, and then people were like, that's so rude. No, it's funny. <laughs> and I think it's a quote from something, too. Yeah. So. Meryl would laugh, too. Meryl would be like, let's go, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Outer Banks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BX, baby. Oh, where's my John B. Summer, bitch? Can you believe the rumor is that it's coming out in the fall? That's awful. That's criminal. <gasps> the only time I want Outer Banks is during the summer. Yeah. They said not to switch it up, but like, so for the first time, you know how Bridgerton's always in the summer? Like the show itself yeah. takes place in the summer because I guess that's the season. They said they're switching it up and it's going to be fall. <gasps> and they're going to be in. Yes. But, like, I wonder if they can, like, be like, oh, the social season was delayed. <laughs> like, in the plot yeah, of the show. COVID like, does happened. it make <laughs> in 1816? <laughs> wow, they're like, everyone got the plague. Everyone died. <laughs> and, like, and, and, like, where did Antony go? <laughs> did he get they the took plague? Him out on Where's the boat? Daphne? He definitely got the plague on the damn boat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see what, I think it'd be lovely fall colors in Bridgerton with Benedict. I'm ready. I'm ready. But OBX does not belong in the fall. OBX is very unserious. And for that, I'm putting it into trauma. No, I'm kidding. But also trauma. It's an unserious. I think it's just an unserious Watching war time. die three times is trauma though. Yeah, that's silly. <laughs> um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Good time? Good time. A good time. I feel very comforted by that show. All right, I feared this next one. Oh, the best show. The best show ever. And of course, it's Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> and of course, it's Pretty Little Liars. I'm so... Um, yes. Um, yeah. I think it goes into good times. I think if it ended it, like on a high, it would have had the potential to be an also the best show ever. Yeah, I think if it stayed pretty yeah. freaking lit, it could have been just the best show ever. Mm-hmm. But, you know, we'll see. You know how it is. Yeah. Is that? Sex my education. Oh. Um, oh, my God. Rest in peace. So many shows died. I know. I feel like that's good times. Good times. And honestly, I feel like that's a show that was pretty good the whole time. Like, there are things that I was... I, we, I know we were disappointed by the last season. I'm now remembering. It's coming yeah, back to me. Yeah, we were, we were just done I'm, I'm realizing I hate this show. No. <laughs> I'm actually... Hold on. Um, um yeah. yeah, let Put me bump down that there. down a couple Put spots. Um, no. But I do think, like, it was a solid show. Me and, too. like, had... Like, the things that it did well and hit the important things were very good. Yeah. Shrinking... Um, I love shrinking. I love shrinking. I think it's good times. And I hope it comes back soon. Good times? Oh, no. Divas. Pirates of the Caribbean. It's got to be good times. It's just good times. It's simply, that's the best way to describe it. It's just a fucking pirate ass good time. Thank God we added this category. A jolly good time. Jolly good time. I know. We're... We didn't have this category to begin with, and it's where a majority of our stuff is. And now it's taking over. <laughs> um, oh, here we are. Pump, 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 pump. Succession. Best show best ever. ever. <laughs> it's our best show ever's are pretty. <laughs> like, 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 in comparison to each other, it's it could funny. be four more different shows. Exactly. But they are all the best show ever. One Tree Hill, Fleabag, Glee, and Succession. That explains it. Yeah. Succession changed my life. I really do mean that. I think about them a lot, too. I think about them a lot. I feel like... I was thinking about it last night, where... 
after my work holiday party, I came home, I was drunk, I ordered Taco Bell, and I turned on an episode of Succession. Comfort. Like, like you're a very specific person to be able to like, do that. Are you okay? No. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I but yes. <laughs> but am I okay because of them? Yes. That's like, are they okay? No. I always have edits on my... That's the thing, like, them. I feel like there's been a resurgence, not, I feel like it has been consistent, like, I'm always seeing stuff about Succession, but just, like, the overlap of Succession with Brat Girl Summer, no. it's just, like, you either get it succession or you don't. Succession is so brat. It's so brat. <laughs> and it's, like, yes, Succession should be on everyone's, like, mind all at all times. Make the apples pop. Right. I will be rewatching something tonight. Lovely. Um, Ted Lasso. I think it's good times. Good times. I think it would have been best show ever if it didn't end the way it did. I agree. And not that it ended awfully, but there were just flaws in the system, unfortunately. Yeah. The- I always come back to it, though. Jamie Tart, best season three, <laughs> three season arc of a character. Jamie what, del- what development? What development? <gasps> um, the after party, gone too soon. Oh. I think um, good times. I think just good vibes. <laughs> I'm like, how do we split Good Times into like its own? Like, how would we separate all these shows? We don't. We don't. Just Good Times. Um. School Spirits. Good Times. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna say that too, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm like looking I'm at like, the next few. I'm like, hmm. I'm like, don't say it. Don't say it. Um. I think Good Times. Yeah, Good Times. And I hope that comes back eventually. I don't know when it'll come back. I think it's opening up the door for our Cobra Kai era. I found out a spoiler about Paint List on Cobra Kai. Oh, no. And I need to tune in. What is going on? Oh, I just dragged off the rest of the shows. <laughs> you just said, ah, oh, good times. Um, okay. Artful Dodger. Hold on. Where did the car me go? Okay. I put them out of order. We'll come back. Um, the Artful Dodger. Good time. Good time. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting it right by Pirates of the Caribbean and... All right, we're going to get something different, I swear. Yeah. Um, the bear? I think. Oh, drama. <laughs> <laughs> Not thinking solely on the most recent season. I think it goes to also the best show ever. Right by Hacks. Yeah. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Love the bear. Love the bear. Never said anything but wrong Carmi about has the bear. A lot of trauma. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the Buccaneers. Good time. Good time. Good winter time. Yeah. So. Oh, no. Here Smackdown, comes the trauma. Blind Manor and Hill House. Trauma. Trauma. Both. Like, some really of my good favorite shows. shows ever, but both very trauma. Yeah. But will I be probably rewatching them? Yeah. <laughs> Every Halloween? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought they would traumatize me more in a frightening way. It was more an emotional yeah. way. Yeah. But because it's not a frightening way, well, actually. I don't know if I want to put myself through that. I don't think I could put myself through the ending of Bly Manor again. Yeah. Uh, but I'm uh, sorry, Miles. But I'm sorry, Just because Miles. of that, I put it in very unsafe. <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Miles. so sorry, Miles. <laughs> now, um, I gladly put myself through both of those again. Yeah. But in a traumatic way. Yeah, I think I have to sit with that. <laughs> the Last of Us, I also kind of want to put in trauma. Yeah, that's trauma. <laughs> Even though... Again, so good. I've been really thinking about Pedro lately. No. Oh, the second season? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. They just like said 2025, which yeah. we knew, but they had a poster this time. Yeah. They even <laughs> got how a you little, know it's getting they real. They even got a little poster. They even got a little cheeky poster. Yeah. All right. We're in the end game now. Just a handful more. Uh-huh. The Hunger Games series. I this era. I think I'm taking her up. Honestly? I'm taking her all I'm the way I'm taking her all the way up. Yeah, I agree. Best, I know it's not a show, but it is probably one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite series of, of all time. Content yeah, ever. books, movies, yeah. uh, personalities. Exactly. Eras. Interviews. It, yes, yeah, celeb- it- celebos. Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> yeah. And you know, oh my God, we will be seated. We will be so set. For Hamish. I'm so excited. I could sob. Hold on, I got to move it back to trauma. Hold on, I'm going to start crying. Hold on, trauma. <laughs> I love it so much. Like, there are very few things Thank I love Thank God less. that's happening. Um, the summer I turned pretty. I know people might say I'm serious. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do good times. It is good times. I think it is good times. It is, especially that first season. That first think, season's really good. I think season three has the opportunity to really pull this up higher <laughs> into good times. I, I think it really 
We'll make it go to the best show ever. I think so. <laughs> if certain things are happening the way the internet thinks it is, we'll see. Um, the way the books go. Well, things are changing. <gasps> I, but more? I don't want to say on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I told you the other day. No spoils. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll chat offline. We'll chat. <laughs> we'll chat offline. Again. Since the show's now, yeah, I can't give away those They're going to do their big one. <laughs> Belly's doing her big one. <laughs> but I got to wait a whole other summer for it. Okay, the Santa Claus movies. <laughs> I mean, good time. I think good time. Like, that's childhood. That's what you have to watch during Christmas. If you're not to watching those it at Christmas, good time. what are you doing? Yellow jackets. <laughs> Trauma. Ooh, yeah. I but agree. in a good way. Especially the way that last season ended. Yeah. They're going to have to do some work to take me out of this trauma bond. Trauma with yellow jackets. Yeah. It is a very traumatic show, though. Yeah. Like, when we first started watching, we were eating, like, something. I don't know. But, like, like you can't eat during it. It's just very... Tra- yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. A hundred percent. Um, um, wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, I'm so sorry, I'm really Miles. Sorry. We're just gonna leave it there. Not that I didn't have, like, a good time, but it wasn't the best time. Yeah. The thing is, it was, like, it was a good time, but it could have been a better time if it was executed just yeah. slightly better. Like, it just with a couple of tweaks, it could have been a really, really good and show. And go watch our podcast for those tweaks. Exactly. <laughs> Please see us after class. <laughs> just chat offline. Please see... Just, meet me offline. <laughs> um, Okay. This Wednesday. Wednesday. When does this come back? I don't know. They're filming it, I guess. Okay. I feel like we'll get in. Oh, yeah. Years. They just posted, like, the cast. Like, yeah. The photo of them. Um, I feel like Wednesday could go good times or unserious. Unserious. I'll say unserious. Yeah. Just to give, give them something. Just to switch it up. But I did enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Final two. You, which I think is still one of our best pods. Yeah. In terms of viewership. Thanks, guys. I didn't know that you people went so hard. Slay, mama. And if you've seen things on Twitter about this show, you know crazy shit's going down. Me That's fifth know. season. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Really excited. I hope they do it well. Honestly, hmm. Good times? Good times. Let's go fucking Joe, baby. <gasps> go Berg. The White Lotus. <laughs> Our grand finale, the W. Um, hmm. what do you think? It's either Good Times or also the best show ever. It's interesting though. It's such a interesting show because I'm like, I love it. It's so amazing. Yeah. But then when you're just like trying to explain like what happens on the show, like it's hard to. <laughs> you're like, what even? Like, what did happen? What is but this did show? I really enjoy every. But were the vibes it? immaculate? Like the vibes were too good. Especially I think, the second season. Yeah, and like watching it live, I think really added to it. So I'm really excited for next yeah. season. Honestly, I'll put it at also I the agree. best show ever. Because it's a show like you get really hyped for, and then like mm-hmm. a lot of people watch it, so you're in like a little community. Yeah. And then you got a banger theme song that makes you want to hit the club. A hundred percent. And you have Aubrey Plaza. A hundred percent, Brie. <laughs> All right. So our official unserious ranking is at the bottom with, um, yeah. <laughs> we have Apples Never Fall in Wilderness. So sorry. In Trauma. We have One Day, Baby Reindeer, Loki, Haunting of Hill House, and Haunting of Blind Manor. The Last of Us and Yellow Jackets. In very unserious, we have Maxton Hall, Ginny and Georgia, My Life with the Walter Boys, Outer Banks, all my, my whole crew is here, and Wednesday. And almost all of those are Netflix. <laughs> um, for good times, we have so many good times, and we have it with Bridgerton, The Cinderella Stories, Dash and Lily, Heartstopper, High School Musical, Daisy Jones and the Six, Gen V, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, My Lady Jane, Never Have I Ever, Only Murders in the Building, um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Pretty Little Liars, Sex Education, Shrinking, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Artful Dodger, Ted Lasso, The After Party, The Buccaneers, School Spirits, The Summer I Turned Pretty, The Santa Clauses, and You. And then also the best show ever, Hacks, The Bear, Abbott Elementary, Barry, Dairy Girls, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and The White Lotus. And then the best show ever goes from The Hunger Games to Succession to Glee to Fleabag to its own goddamn category. (laughs) 
fuck. Dude, so sorry to say. Wait, I'm so sorry. Hey, hold, hold on. Add <laughs> a row above. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why did I make that one gray? Hold on, everyone. Hold stay on, with me. Stay everyone, with stay me. with me. Everyone, stay with me. Oh, I'm so You simply short. just can't beat one uh, tree hill. hill. There's and there's only, only one tree hill. hill and, and it's, it's your, your home. And the best show ever. The best show ever. <laughs> like, I really and feel then, like these are such solid, like, Changed our lives shows Fleabag, <laughs> Glee, Succession, and like the Hunger Games franchise. But One Tree Hill is truly in a world of its own. Yeah. Like, like so sorry. I'm literally <laughs> so sorry. If you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? Literally, what are you That's doing? That's a whole treat. Yeah, you honestly, watched it. you are depriving yourself <laughs> of, of truly the best time. Of hours and hours of fun. Just fun. And just like sit down with your besties, <laughs> turn that shit on, get invested, yeah. fight over who Lucas sh- should be with, fight over uh, whether Dan's a good character <laughs> or not. Spoiler alert, he's the best. <laughs> Spoiler alert. That, and that will be our best character ever. Yeah. Oh my god, we rank every character and that's Dan on every one of these shows. his own category, and he's not top. Yeah, that's Dan wild. Scott. Dan Scott. Because you can't kill Dan, Dan Scott. Scott. Wow. Mm-hmm. Enough said. I agree. Enough said. I think this is a flawless list. I'm going to... Everyone's going to watch me save this so we don't lose it. I lose I'm it right scared. now. Everyone's going to watch. The anticipation. Download. It blows up. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Presentation mode. I could have been in presentation mode this whole time. Uh, Are you guys joking? You live and you learn. (gasps) Page unresponsive. You guys. Wait. Wait. No, wait. I can't even like screenshot it because it's too big. <gasps> Download image. Everyone stay, stay with, me. with me. Everyone stay with me. Is everyone Is on the edge of their here? seat? Is anyone still here? <laughs> oh, come on, please. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, my notifications. Oh, this the anticipation. Do not disturb is on. Why? This is. Did it work? The anticipation I can't even like wild. check if it worked. You guys, I can't say I didn't try, and the whole computer's like freaking out. <gasps> Wait, everyone, stay with me. It's gonna download like five times, which would be better than not at all. Oh, Notion. Well, if I didn't insert a picture up in the podcast, you know why, and it's that everything broke. <gasps> Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this shit? Keeping OTH at the top by itself is sending me. <laughs> it's true. And I stand by it. All right. Oh, okay. It's downloading. It downloaded Yay. five times. Don't okay. even, don't we, even, we freaking don't even bat it. an eye, you guys. Why is it so small? <laughs> <laughs> Technical, oh, the anticipation. Can you see it? The way it's zooming. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, wow. Okay, well, everyone, thank you so much for coming to our TED talk, our tier talk. Um, we'll probably do this again in some sort of way, maybe tier listing characters from specific shows, maybe tier listing tropes, maybe tier listing ships, things like that. Um, let us know if you have any thoughts or suggestions for stuff to do not even just tier lists just other things to chat about related to tv other and activities yeah we love game time with megan and brie 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 but like full episodes of that we may get canceled i guess (gasps) hey bring bring (laughs) hello (gasps) who is it oh my god it's them it's the network (laughs) the network oh my god we did. We're renewed. We got a season three. Yeah! <laughs> that was giving Jake shade. It was Miles. <laughs> it was Miles. I wish it was Miles. Miles FaceTimes in. <laughs> wow. That's literally. Thank God. Well, I was getting really worried. Um, I was shaking in my boots. Boy, would our face have been red if we didn't it get renewed. So red. 
Well, with that, I guess that means we'll see you guys next week for season three. We technically don't know what we're doing. I think we thought maybe we'd do Pretty Little Wires, but I can't say that for sure. For sure. sure. But you'll find out. You'll certainly find out yeah. on a, the next episode in the season premiere of Unseries. And just remember, every show is the best, best show, show ever. ever. <laughs> that's kind of awesome thanks for listening to our podcast remember to rate follow and share with friends and find us on tiktok and instagram at unseriesist to see more content and find out what we're watching next we hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you next week bye